Hey guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. And I know, I know this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but yesterday turned into a crazy day. And because I am not ahead of schedule and don't record my narrations before the day it's supposed to come out, this is what sometimes happens. So you're getting your video today, but I am showing you my brand new one month planner to go along with my blush and navy collection. And I'm going to show you how I transformed this monthly spread into this beautiful monthly spread. And this is also a sample page for this month's CHQ catalog. So you'll get to see the stickers that go along with it. And I've got a fun freebie announcement, um, a special teaser for a couple new releases, and a teaser for a special announcement that will happen next week. So all of this is coming up. Let's get to it. First off, did you guys notice that brand new intro for a brand new year? Cool, right? Oh, that was lame. Anyways, okay. So my monthly freebie for my mailing list just went out yesterday. And this time around, I am doing some birthday themed coloring book style stickers because this is my birthday month. My birthday's coming up next week. I almost forgot to mention that I'm doing a special contest in my Facebook group with these monthly freebie stickers where you can share your spreads, coloring in these stickers either in your planners or in Procreate or whatever, but I wanna see some creative spreads and we're gonna vote on them in the group and whichever one turns out to be the favorite will win a $5 credit to my shop that they can use on anything. So if you haven't joined the Facebook group, get in on that and get in on the contest that is happening this month. And yeah, let's see some fun spreads. And that leads me to some brand new releases that are coming up next week. I've got two new birthday themed sticker books in two different color schemes that are so pretty and I can't wait to show these to you. So exciting. But also, here you go, you ready? There's gonna be a special event going on in my shop next week that you do not wanna miss. So definitely pay attention to my next announcements coming out next week. You do not wanna miss it, trust me. All right, enough of that, let's get to planning. Okay, so this is the one month planner for the new blush and navy collection and I'm going to start out by dating it using one of the calendar overlay stickers from my mini bundle in this month's CHQ catalog and this planner is purposely an any start planner so you can use it for Monday start or Sunday start and you know I'm a Monday start girl so I'm going with the Monday start one and in this mini bundle, I've given you both Sunday Start and Monday Start overlays. And it's so simple to just size it up and date your monthly spread in one step. And you're done. I've dated it. It even has Monday through Sunday on there. It's done. I'm dated, right? Done. One step. Love that. Okay. So this is the Blush and Navy Glam sticker book that I created for my CHQ catalog this month. So it's exclusive to CHQ right now, but it will be a regular item um, at the end of the month, unless I get tons and tons of requests and people just want it early, then I'll, I'll do it early and it'll go in the shop early. But for right now, it's only at CHQ. And I decided to use this fun little border sticker as my header for January for, you know, the month. And since this is, um, going to be like a sample page for my catalog. I went with a font that's just like a regular Goodnotes font. So this is uh, the Bodani 72 font. And I decided to 
test it out. I, you, you guys know, I don't always like to stretch out my images a lot because sometimes it really distorts it. But with this, it turned out okay. You know, if it didn't, if it got too squishy, you can just undo it. But oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so pretty. It just fills that space so well. I just love it. So then I thought I needed to do like a, um, like a washi border at the bottom. And I remembered after the fact, after I did this, that there is a longer washi sticker already made in this color. But this is just another way you can use these stickers. Since I don't need the label, I'm just cropping it out and just, you know, just kind of squishing it. And I'm going to use this as just like a, a pop of color, you know, to pull in the colors of the collection along the bottom. That's why I purposely leave this little area blank at the bottom so that you could decorate it. You could put notes. You could, I mean, you could ignore it if you want to, but why would you do that? Hello, decorate it, make it lovely, give it some personality. Because I like to make my, my page layouts in these planners pretty basic so that you can, you know, do whatever you want with them. If I get enough interest, one day I'll do like a fully decorated planner, but I don't know. I I tend to stay away from those personally because I want to put my own decoration on there and if it's fully decorated already, you can only do so much with it. So, let me let me know your opinion on that. If you want a fully decorated planner at some point, um I could probably do that. But anyways, all right, so I had this idea to take this quote sticker, and I just love this quote sticker, Hustle for the Pretty Things, because, yes, that's what we're doing here. And I thought, let's just cover up the, the goals area up here and just, just make it full-on quote. I haven't done this before. I don't think I've done this before in a planner spread, so I thought it'd be fun to do something different. And then to pull in that navy color, I grabbed this long, simple, just colored box and I'm going to use the image tool to squish it down and fit it on a single row and add my own text to it so that I can add some more color. I mean, I know it's on dark, dark navy, but it's still color. Um, but add my own color to these little header areas. What is my dog doing? It's being weird. Um, but I, this is just a fun way to add some more personality to these types of layouts and to pull in like whatever colors you're using. So you just add like a colored box and put your text over it. And once I get, you know, once I get the look that I want, I change the font size a little bit. Once it's done, you just copy it and then you can just change the note. I forgot the text. Let's make sure you get the text. Um, but once you have it done, you don't have to do that same thing over and over and over again. You just do it once and then you can just copy it, paste it, and then change your header. So that's what I'm doing here. Notes and reminders. Now the other side of this, it's a little bit wider. So you just do the same thing. You just copy and paste it over here on this side, but then you just got to go back to that image tool and just stretch it out. So it fits that full width, but then you're good to go. Once you do that once then you can just copy and paste it to the other ones. And one thing about this monthly spread that I like is that you, you have the monthly calendar on one side and then on this other side, you get all these little note areas that you just fill in throughout the month, like things that you're currently doing and watching and reading and listening to. And of course, if you're putting your own headers on here like this, you can change those up. Maybe you want those to be, you know, to-do lists for certain areas of your life, maybe like a personal to-do list, a work to-do list, and then have like just one for currently doing whatever, you know. If you add your own headers like that, that's a fun, simple way to change up the page template and make it your own. Because what is the point of having a digital planner and using stickers if you can't make it your own? So that is what we're doing. And because this is a sample page, you can, you know, copy all the stuff and paste it into whatever planner you're using. If you're not using this one, but why are you not? It's a lovely planner. Um, but you can just paste it in there and just change it however you want. Like I copied this and pasted it into the, um, I'm still using the teal DIY planner, um, for the year of 2020, almost said for the month of January. Although I'm going to be honest, I might change planners because I am working on a new one 
that's a, a custom ordered thing that you pick your color options. So I am working on that and there's a very good chance I might switch to that, but I don't know. I don't know. If so, I'll just copy all this stuff and paste it in there. It's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of like talk through some, some things while I'm decorating this calendar spread. But before I get into my, you know, rambling tangents here, well, not tangents, it's special stuff, but I just want to remind you guys or tell you if you're new to digital planning that because I use that calendar overlay sticker it's an image right so if I use the lasso tool to get these little boxes to move things around if the image selection is turned on it's going to mess up that thing it's going to move it so if you are using an overlay sticker like this if you need to adjust images, you know, like your sticker images, use the image tool to select them and move them around. Don't use the lasso tool because you will move that background. Because in goodness, there's no way to lock that. If you're working in note shelf, you could totally lock it, but I'm much more partial to goodness, but that's just me. That's just me. We are in goodness right now. Okay. So let's get on to some tangents here. Is it a tangent if I plan to talk about it? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, technically it's a tangent from what's happening on the screen right now because I'm moving stickers around and doing this and that, but it's not a tangent in that I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. I don't know. That's weird. That's, is that a philosophical question? Is that just like a weirdo me question? I don't know. Anyway, so one thing I want to point out is I, I teased it earlier is that next week is my birthday. And I want you guys to help me celebrate it by, um, one, doing the contest in my Facebook group with my birthday stickers, and two, getting the new birthday theme sticker releases that are coming out next week. But look, you guys, my birthday is the 13th. It is, what day is that? Is that a Thursday? It's Thursday. I'm going to be doing a one day only special event in my shop. So... I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is other than as a part of it, there are going to be two new sticker book releases, but I'm so excited about it and I think you will be too. So you have to pay attention this next week whenever I start sharing some things and you'll get to see more of these sticker books that are coming out because I'm going to put them in next week's collage. So you'll get to see some of those, um, but I have a special announcement. I can't give too much away right now because if I do, then, you know, you'll know and you won't come back <laughs> and we want you to come back. That's kind of like the whole point. Um, but yeah, special announcement coming next week. Super excited about it. I've never done this before and yeah, it's a, it's, it's a thing you guys. It's a thing. Okay. So let's see, I guess, I guess that's all of my ramble. Well, uh, maybe I guess that's all in my ramble, but I just want to say one more thing, one more ramble that while I was in the process of editing this video, someone shared on Facebook how they have already customized these coloring book stickers and oh my gosh, I love them. So she shared them on my Facebook page. So go check that out. Go find that. I told her to make sure she shares them in the group too, so that she can be entered into the contest, but Barbie girl. Love those. So much fun. Shout out to Barbie. Okay. Anyways. Okay. That's, that's it. Simple. Just a reminder. This is what the spread looked like before we started. It's simple. It's an any start blank page, right? And this is what we customized it to. How fun is that? Love that. Okay. All right. Don't forget special announcements and all that good jazz. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.